Hey guys, this is one of the most requested videos I've ever had, and for good reason. This is such a cool problem. I did not expect it to have the outcome that it had. So the problem gives us a semicircle right here and a quarter circle right here, and then this red line with a length of five that goes from the vertex of this rectangle tangent to the semicircle. If you want to try this on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three two, one. So first up, let's assign a radius to this semicircle. A lot of people wanted to assign this radius to match, but there really is not evidence that this radius is the same as this radius. So let's call it something else like X. Using our method, we're not going to need this radius to equal this radius. And that right there is one of my favorite things about this problem. We don't care if the radii are the same. So this last distance right here will also be r because it's a radius of the same semicircle. And this height will also be x because it's a radius of this quarter circle. And now we can come up with a formula for the area of the rectangle. The area of the rectangle is base times height. The base is going to be equal to x plus 2r. And the height is going to be equal to x. And then we can distribute this x. x times x is going to give us x squared and x times 2r is going to give us 2xr. And this is a very nice formula for the area. For the next step, let's draw a segment from this point of tangency to the center of the semicircle. And this distance is also a radius of the semicircle, so it's going to be r. This right here is going to be a right angle. Every radius that intersects a tangent line at the point of tangency is at right angles. So now we have a nice right triangle, so we can do Pythagorean theorem. r squared plus 5 squared equals the quantity x plus r squared. We can bring down the r squared. 5 squared is 25, and x plus r squared means x plus r times x plus r. And after we multiply that out, we get x squared plus 2xr plus r squared. And then we can subtract r squared from both sides. On the left-hand side, we have 25, and on the right-hand side, we have x squared plus 2xr. And now we're pretty much done. We wanted to know what is the area of the rectangle, but we know that the area is equal to x squared plus 2xr, so we can plug that in right here. But we also know that x squared plus 2xr is equal to 25, so we could change this to 25. And that's the answer to our question. Let's give it a label of centimeter squared and put a box around it. Even if these radii are not equal to each other, we can find the area of this rectangle is exactly 25 centimeters squared. How exciting. Isn't that cool?